Welcome back to Star Citizen, folks. We are heading into this system to hopefully get a bounty. We'll head in right now. And this guy is at a cryovolcanic world. Okay, so Tian Dong has something out here. Maybe they have a, a world or something, I don't know. Why else would they have? Hmm, I don't know. There's a cryovolcanic world there. There's a cryovolcanic world there. So let's just lay in a course for this one. I don't think we need to have our... So there's one. It's unsurveyed, but he's not here. So we'll head up to the other one. And we'll do a quick save before the battle. Because I have no idea how difficult this is going to be. There he is. Massacre's fleet. All right, so the ships in Titan Massacre's fleet are known for having the following traits. Reliable missile forge, plus 21% missile maneuvering, efficient flux, blockade runner, clunky, and volatile flux core. Okay. Let's move in to engage. And you can see up here, Right now I haven't deployed any ships, so of course it's impossible. But if we deploy just this one, we're down to four stars, and then we're down to two stars. Two to four stars, well, I, I'd actually say two to three stars is usually doable. Uh, four stars is hard, and anything above that is damn near impossible, at least to me. But I'm not a very good pilot, so that's probably why. Uh, so we will deploy those. I think we'll tell our buddies here to escort us and then we'll just set up a point here. And I'll of course be flying my own ship. If you notice that little cloud thing, that's the ability of the, the Sophon ships. So there we go. Maybe I should take off one of the bigger guys while my friends take on one of the smaller guys. Damage. Let's target you. I'm getting over fast. Quite quick here. We'll try and get a little bit out here. to try this again uh, I mean I am pretty new to to this so well to the next and to these ships because I don't know uh, anything about them so we can see that now their difficulty rating is reduced quite a bit because we didn't do so well so we'll head up here and we'll try it once more it should be possible And we'll deploy the same ships. And I think we'll tell these to escort that. And then we'll let that search and destroy, even though I am piloting it. Uh, I will not be piloting it. Just to see if 
the AI does better than I did. And I'm guessing that it will. I'm actually pretty sure that it will. Fairly certain that the AI will be able to do this just fine. We can hold down the control key because I have a mod installed called Speed Up so that the combat goes a little bit faster. This is really nice. But right now I, I want to see what's going on. basically destroyed two of our ships and they haven't even taken a scratch. So that's not too good. There goes our picture. Alright, so let's exit the campaign, load. We'll give it one more shot. So now it's been reduced by 54%. And it may seem a little bit cheaty that I'm doing this, but this is early days. I feel like it's okay to kind of get to know the game, know the ships, because I've never played with these ships really before. You may have noticed that there was a test, but I was still level one at test save. But I was still level one. It was just to see that all the mods were working. So I haven't actually flown with these ships before. Uh, actually, you search and destroy. Like that. Okay. Actually, one thing I want to do is check my settings. So, where is combat? Strafe and turn curve for shift. Turn left, turn right, and D. Strafe left and right, Q and E. What I want. I don't think I can do that in here. I think I need to do. I think I want to change my uh, weapon targeting mode. But we're going to have to do that later. Okay, here they come. Got to so 
Hmm. So actually, I do want to see settings. Uh, combat. A toggle out of auto fire for weapon group. Turn three, so. Weapons group two, I want to auto fire. So, control two, auto fire. Alright. Good. Katora has taken hull damage. Let's tell you to come up here and escort me because we're actually doing okay up here. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Greyhound and Spade destroyed. So there is these two left now. down here. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I still want you to come and escort me. We'll remove that. And we'll wow. head down this way. Put the shields on. That makes us slower. Basically dead. Katora is disabled. Hopefully, we can recover it. I think it was probably a mistake letting him go off on his own. But hopefully, having this working the way I want it now will help us. Almost ready again. Something got busy. This is a modular ship. There we go. Claim victory. Uh, I guess something got away. Spade. 
I know that we don't have a second in command, but we'll order him to do it anyway. Pick through the wreckage. We did not get to recover our lost ship, which sucks. Now let's get rid of you. We're still over cargo capacity. I don't really want to get rid of those. Plasma drivers, disavowals, embrace. Lucidus tribeam, Rafael MRMs, annihilators, railgun, lighthouse, rock defense, annihilator, rocket rack. Okay. So how much do we need to get rid of? Sixteen. You know what? We'll do that. I know about that. So now if we look, we received some money from Sylphen for doing this bounty. We completed the bounty as well. And if we go in here and say fleet log, then we have a battle report, which is quite nice. So unfortunately, the Kamidana was destroyed, but we can see what each ship did and the rating. And if the reputation has changed, our loyalty from the crew and stuff like that, I think that's really nice. And we got an insurance payout for the Kamidana of 14,080, so we can head back and uh, get. Uh, refleet it, you might say. We actually have 63,000 because of uh, the bounty. So let's see, we have one level that we can do. So we'll just put that in here and confirm because we want to get this up, these two up to level three. Now, we don't really have anything else to do here. So let's lay in a course. And I think we won't be able to do the other bounty now that we lost the ship. So I think we'll head back to our home and whoops, up here in Nim. And we'll head back up there and see what we can get for ships. There's a derelict ship there, I think. Valkyrie class transport. We might as well see. Uh, that's because we don't have any heavy machinery. So that was a mistake selling that. We need the heavy machinery. Okay, heading home. There's the Prism Freeport, where you can go in and uh, trade. Let's just take a look at it. It basically works the same as any other uh, uh, colony. So, and then there's a high-end seller here, which is really expensive uh, so but they also have some nice stuff we have a black market uh, we need some more supplies let's just get some it's one over our cargo capacity So 40, that's fine. Don't need more fuel right now, but we will pick it up. Alrighty. Now, if we take a look at fleet, we could check out what they have, if there's anything we want. 
But I think I'd rather go and... I would like a direwolf at some point, because they seem quite nice. But we can't afford it right now. And we need to head up, because I, I want to try and stay with Sylphen ships, at least for now. Let's open the com directory, there's no... No, uh... Officer, one of these big fleets. It's a Persian League. I don't know what those guys are. You can see there's a lot more activity in the uh, in this sector well, than there is than there is in the vanilla. And I, I like that. Whoa, I should not have gone that way. I like that there's a lot more activity and a little bit more danger. So where is our... So there. And we'll head to Osma Station. And we can actually store here, because we already have the storage. So we're going to store, or store these and stuff. It is going to cost a fee, but that's okay for now. It's not that much that we have there. So, okay, what do we have here? Module and null space conduits. Don't know what those do. Networked targeting link up. Uh, self core to a fleet wide tyrant grid laying info to other ships hooked up to the same system. Fleets deployed, ally in the fleet with the same hull mod. The ship ignores 4 to 10 percent of enemy ECM, depending on the hull size of the allied ship, up to a maximum of 60 percent. In addition, it also gets 50 percent of this bonus as bonus targeting lead accuracy. That is actually really nice. So function as null space conduits, but does not grant all the bonuses such conduits normally entail. The ship can skim null space, increasing increasing speed by up to ten percent while traveling. Okay, so that's the null space thingy. Okay. Okay. Well, what we want to do right now is take a look at buying a new ship. Now we could get another Katora. And I think that's what we will do. Yeah. What D mod do you have? Faulty power grid. Okay, so we'll buy you for now. And we'll refit you. Do we have we have reveals. And then we have we have the disavowals which went here. Uh, what oh, never mind. The embrace. We have embraces. We do. And Lucidas tribeams. Uh, I think the embraces go here. And the Lucidas tribeams go here. Okay, that leaves us with six. So we have integrated null space conduits. Uh, these special conduits allow the ship to skim the surface of null space. Okay, then we have the Sylph core. The ship has had a voluntary AI core integrated into the mainframe by the Sylph. While upkeep is, in is increased by 10% to keep the core operating under peak conditions, the ship requires no human crew. 
The ship's crew capacity is, however, reduced by 20% due to installation requirements. Okay. Not fully sure I understand that, so... The upkeep goes up, but it doesn't need human crew, but the crew capacity... Okay, I get it. Nanolaminate armor. Nanolamin nanolaminate armor. Okay. Each time the ship loses 10% of its total armor, ignoring the damage producing effects from armor polarization, the ship shields capacitors get supercharged. If the ship, ship activates its shields within 3 seconds, they will instantly unfold while firing harmful energy bolts and anything in the shield's arc. Cool. Let's have a look at the weapon groups. Not that they really matter that much. I think that's fine. So what can we give you? Can we give you... Hmm. We don't really want to give you anything of this. No. So what we'll do is... Increase this a bit, I think. Or increase the capacity, I think. Now, here, these weapon groups. Why were they not auto firing? They were set to auto fire. Maybe I accidentally turned them off auto fire or something? I have no idea. Oh. Okay. Now, you come up here. Actually, you come over there. Okay. Now we have 30,000 credits. We we'll fill up on fuel again. You'll we'll get. They don't have any heavy, heavy machinery. None. That's not good. I think we can get that aware at Tritachion. But we'll get, let's say 40. Uh, repair our ships. Still no. No, we don't want to talk to the pather. We did just spend some on that, so we'll do that. 56, that's fine. Let's leave here and head over to Talos here. Let's see if we can get some heavy machinery here. And I need to remove the emergency burn. Goods. No heavy machinery here either. What about on the black market? No. Okay. Well, that sucks. No, I don't want some investment credits. There's a mercenary officer. He's steady. And he's a strike commander. We'll offer to hire him. We'll offer to hire him. Yeah. Sounds good. Repair our ships. And we'll assign him to this ship. Now he is a strike commander, which is a carrier. But we'll get carriers later, so it's okay to get him leveled up. Okay, now what do we have for bounties? Sylphan R&D, 40 days. It's over there. What's this? 100,000 pirate base. Don't think we can do that yet. 14 days. An ORA. Now we can get over there in 14 days and find her. And it's 51,000, which we do want.
So I think we'll show her on the map. Yellow primary star in the Shabar Nebula. Yellow star. You're in an, another nebula, so it's this one. Sleep. And head over there. And it did say that it's been 20 min minutes since we saved, so we're going to do that. And we're also going to call this episode here, guys. So, and next time we will head over to her and try and uh, get that bounty as well. 51,000 would be pretty nice. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.